So, he starts with the first question and it says, what is the true meaning of yoga? So, it explained, yoga is a Sanskrit word that means connecting two things or adding two things together. If you want to connect two bricks together, then cement, water and other substances are needed. Similarly, real yoga is the process of connecting two persons, one being the Supreme Lord and other being each and every spirit souls. <coughs> Forgetting the Supreme Lord, we, the embodied souls, suffer greatly. We have passed through all this various species of life as donkeys, asses, dogs, pigs, and sometimes as demigods. By his causeless mercy, the Supreme Lord Krishna has now given us the opportunity of this human life. But this form is very temporary. We do not know when we will die. We grieve because we are under the illusion that we are this body, which is a, a bag of urine, stool, blood, and other unwanted things. <laughs> I, I go on with this. <laughs> we believe we are this body and we endeavor only to please it. We do not try to satisfy our soul. <coughs> the easiest way to meet with Krishna is through yoga. We are his parts and parcels, his eternal servants. There is no question of comparing Krishna's servant with worldly servants. However, as service to Krishna is very loving and beautiful, like that of a friend, friend, mother, father, or son, or like the service of a lover towards his most beloved. You see, this is start. Repeat again. Without relation, we cannot love. It says, What is cement and what is sand and what is water? To fix the two bricks, that is your love. You cannot do without water, cement, and sand. Two bricks cannot be together. What is water is your love. And cement is a thing when they mix with water and the uh, uh, sand, it becomes sticky. So love, action, in love and action, become devotion. Yeah. 
what is taught as yoga nowadays nowadays is merely the exercise of the body by exercising throughout our life or throughout our thousands of future lives will still we will not be happy we will repeatedly grow old and one day we will have to give up this body here we are discussing true yoga the ultimate connection by what process can we meet the Supreme Lord Krishna it is through the process of love and affection you called see. bhakti yoga you see devotion love in relation which relation i am in conjugal love i'm like a motherly love i'm in friendly love this is the water cement is your action with act you have to mix it and the sand to make the power low you make we have a low power cement has high power but love makes you mix when the cement water and the sand then it become sticky you cannot leave that so soul cannot leave super soul in relationship on if there is no relation it not works see that jesus life he comes in relation with son and father to make the bhakti yoga this is his devotion for the father similarly krishna cannot move yoga with krishna without bhakti without devotion we need the devotion in one relationship here we are discussing true yoga the ultimate connection by what process can we meet the supreme lord krishna it is through the process of love and affection called bhakti yoga by giving our love to krishna we can attain that perfectional stage in which we will we will be happy forever not with bhakti bhakti rituals we cannot make happy mental satisfaction can come with rituals but we need a spiritual that is prema bhakti my loving behavior sand is there cement is there you mix the sand and cement if the water is not there it will not become sticky that is love water your water is your love to make the sticky to the cement and the sand that is devotion prem makes you to devote in behavior devotion in one relationship and without relation there is no love
show me any place without relation that is allowed. We can talk, but we have nothing to do with that. But what in that process, how can we attain the stage of frame or pure love of God? The Uttama Bhakti or pure devotional service in the cultivations of activities that, that are meant exclusively for the pleasure of Sri Krishna or in other words the uninterrupted love of service to Sri Krishna performed through all endeavors of the body, mind and speech and through the expressions of various spiritual sentiments behalf which is not covered by Kyan. You see, Kyan make you disturbance. Knowledge make you disturbance. Not covered by Kyan, not covered by knowledge. Knowledge make you interest in the frame. We are not covered with the Kyan means what Gyan is doing, making blockage. Because if anything is covered with knowledge, frame will not come. Doubt will come. Gyan make you to doubt. Knowledge make you to doubt. Mother never doubt to the son because he don't need any knowledge for that. She knows. <coughs> right? But when you search for the knowledge, then you cover yourself with your intelligence here and then you create doubts in mind. So nice. You, 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 once you related um, a wonderful pastime with Udawa, he wanted to convince the the, the mother Yasoda. Yeah, and and you wanna you wanna tell it? And it would be nice. Like Udawa is full of knowledge, covered with the knowledge, and he said to Krishna, Oh. They are very simple lady of village. They have no knowledge about you, that you are a supreme personality of Godhead. And they, I will teach them that you are a Bhagavan. You are the supreme God. You have no form. You are everywhere and nowhere. You have a no form, you have a, all qualities inside you. And he wants to teach that to Mother Jasoda. You say, he has a no form. I say, are you crazy or dumb? <laughs> he has no form. He is my son. <laughs> My childhood, I feel my breast to this boy and I see him come to with me. This room is full of clothes. When he was a child, he is wearing this. When he become one year old, he wear this. And when he was two years old, he wear this. And he five years old, he wear this. And he had no form, then how he wear? 
Are you crazy? Which type of person you talking about? I don't know. I know my son. I believe in my son. I don't believe in that God. But you have knowledge. You are covered with the knowledge. So you don't understand about my son. I am crying for my son. I want my son. Don't say about his philosophy and his, about him that he has no form. What is his philosophy? Who can know better than me? Which time he likes to eat, which time he likes to sleep, where he likes to go. <coughs> All details I have. And what you want to give more details about that? He's full of love and he loves me always and I feed my breast always. He cry for milk, he cry for butter, he cry for the sweet. Makhan Mishri. I am mother, I give birth to him and you give philosophy to me. What type of knowledge you have? You say no for he has no desire, always crying and asking from me. No, 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 no. Always asking from me. Always he feel hungry. He say, make me rasgulla. I make rasgulla, then he say, make halwa for me. Then he say, make so only sweet you are giving to me make some salty thing. Always I am cooking for him. You say he has no desire. Are you become crazy, Uthava? Which type of knowledge you have? Something you are missing in your knowledge. This is Mother Dila. I don't want to cry. Why? He said, why you are crying for him? He is a Bhagavan. He said, I don't want to cry, but I cannot stop this tear. <coughs> when I miss him, tears automatic coming from my eyes. What I can do this? My throat choke. What I think? I, when I miss my son, I, I I have to, I cannot stop my tears. It's not my mistake, my relation mistake. I make relation with him, this is my mistake. I think that you have no relation. You do not feel this to feel with my feeling how mother feel for the son. You have to go to the heart of some mother to ask how she feel for the son, how she feel satisfaction when the son is coming near to him. You have never understanding of this. Because he was covered with the knowledge. This is the definition of Uttam Bhakti, of your devotion. What is Uttam? Relation make you highest. Uttam is highest. 
highest devotion. Only mothers knows to give the highest. Mother. Friend are also devote good. But the from the friend, mother devotion is the highest. Friend. If you have a friend, you are sitting with the friend and your baby cry inside, what you will say? He's a very close friend of you. And baby cry, you will say, please wait. My child is crying, I have to take care. You leave your friend and run to your baby. The highest is the motherly relation from the friendship. But the mother feed the breast. Mother give everything, change the toilets, clothes and pee, pee and everything. But she only give the breast. She cannot open herself. But the conjugal love, there is no privacy. If the privacy is there, then conjugal love is not there. <coughs> so the motherly love and conjugal love is the highest. The mother Jasoda love is the highest love because she feed by the breast. She always feeding to his child. <coughs> what is the quality of mother? Only feeding. She cannot give without living without feeling. Open this AC. She cannot live without feeling. <coughs> if she is not feeding, then she is not mother. Mother means unconditional feeding. You will feed her again, that she no bother. After sixteen years you will take care of him, she no bother. She don't bother, next day you will take care of him. She do unconditional. No condition is in her life. And real conjugal love also works like this. It works unconditionally. And there is all five types of love in conjugal love. You become best servant of your conjugal lover. That's him. Sakya. Good friendship. Who's the best friend than conjugal lover? And, and at the same moment, <laughs> you are also behave like a mother. Sometimes when your lover is sick, you control like a mother, you can eat this, you can sleep this, you can do this. You control like a mother. Mother means with love she controls the child. Nature of mother to control, but full of love. <coughs> so motherly love is also there. Unconditional motherly love, unconditional dacia, servantly love, unconditional. No, I am working for pagar from you. <coughs> Any time you listen that the conjugal lover say that I am cooking for you and I need the money for that, I clean your clothes and I, you have to pay money for that. Are they? Is unconditional without doing nothing. 
I want to do, I feel pleasure in doing that. I control because motherly love also coming. Motherly love is the highest and conjugal love is the most highest. That to release. And this is the watering to mix the sand and cement. Cement is the supreme and we are the sand. If we want to mix this two, we need the water in between loving exchange. Love mixes together. This love and your, my devotion for this love makes so clear. This is the bhakti and this is the goal of our Krishna consciousness. And this bhakti, love, is the goddess of love is giving the love. That is Radhika. Without taking shelter of Radhika, how you will know the love? If you want wealth, you have to take the center of Lakshmi. If you need power, you have to take the center of <coughs> Shakti, Madhurga. Then Shakti will come. And if you want to take center of love, and you say, I don't like Radhika, are they? where are you going then? <laughs> Krishna is empty. What he can give you? He has no love, he is a beggar of love. He is begging for love. You know this? He is a beggar of love, you see. Begging love. And when he sees this love, he says, only I want to be in your lotus feet. Means, I want to be only there, there is the love. That is my goal. Mother, what mother needs? Only love of his son. And mother is more high in this, you will love or not love, I will love you. <coughs> this unconditional thing, this devotional, this is the spirituality. This is the divine and this is Krishna consciousness. Any motherly love can make you Krishna devotion. Always Krishna conscious. You are always conscious with Krishna. Your conjugal love will make you always conscious with Krishna. He is not A, B, C, D. Only A is there. No, you see the many A, B, C, D doing but it's only A, only my, 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 my child is there. And one child makes the all child. If the Krishna is my child, whole inverts become my child. See the uh, uh, Amrita Nanda. She is a mother because she makes the Krishna child. The all inverts become child of Amritananda. Ma Amritananda. She comes to Vrindavan and I feel this that his Krishna, he sees them. Everyone say, Mother Jasoda come today. And she is behaving like a mother, Jasoda. I see Ananda May Ma also like that. So, mother is an universal mother because she is a Krishna mother. Conjugal lover is a personal lover because he makes the lover to his Krishna. Friend become universal friend when he met <coughs> the friend of Krishna. Universal. 
he will behave similar to everyone. It's not surprising. How you can do this? But it's happening. You ask from the person who is practicing in this mood how they think and behave. Yeah, I don't want to say the name because I know someone is practicing in this and they are also sitting here. But you have to assess this. They become universal, connected. Always the connection is divine. No doubt is there. Doubt is there when the cement is there and sand is there, but water is not there. It is doubtful how the cement and water will work. I'm there, you are there, but love is not there. It's not working. I'm there, you are there, but how yoga will come when without love? Love is, yoga will come only by the water. <clears throat> yeah. And there are always minimum, there are two necessary, no? Cement and water. By this, by this love and affection, and mm. by this love and affection for the Supreme Lord, we can meet mm. with Him mm. and serve Him. Mm. The scripture states, Paramuktir Ishvara, deep, deep and sitting affection to Ishvara, the Supreme Controller, Sri Krishna. If the, the only transcendental religion of the soul. What is the religion? Dharma. There is two religions. One is the dharma, religion of the body. Religion of the body, dharma, artha, how to earn money, how to use my karma, my desires, such desire to balance that, and how to become free from that. Dharma, artha, kama, moksha. This is the fourth religion of the human body. And we work on that. Right? <coughs> this is the working for dharma, artha, kama, mukta is my human religion. And everybody is busy with the circumstances. But there is one more dharma for this jiva, jiva dharma. That is nitya dharma. <coughs> One is the nitya dharma, what is my dharma of the soul to always be with you. This is nitya. And what is an nematic, what brings out from you, that is one dharma. One is keeping connected with you. One dharma, one bringing out from you second dharma. One is making useless wasting my time. That is also three dharma. <coughs> Anitya dharma. 
नित्य धर्म नैमित्तिक धर्म अनित्य धर्म थ्री धर्म नित्य धर्म ऑलवेज हाउ आई कैन बी कनेक्टेड विथ यू आई नीड वन एसोसिएशन और मैनी एसोसिएशन हु हैज सेम मूड दे मे की दे मे कीप अप ऑलवेज कनेक्टेड विथ यू विथ माय लवर विथ माय मामा with my friend that i want in my life i want to play in the lap of my mama i don't want to live in the lap of my mother i want every day even now to suck the breast of mother and when i satisfied myself when i feed take the feeding from the breast of mother that is my dharma this is vatsalya rasa conjugal love i want to be in con- conjugal love dharma with you always be with you in my conjugal love i want to give everything to you my senses my body my heart my mind everything you see the life of jesus he was in nitya dharma and he was fixed with his son behavior with his father and he is feeling to all to his friend to his mother and to his lover also but in the divine way all they are feeling <coughs> such feeling satisfaction with her it is being because always fixed in one dharma fatherly devotion so when you are connected one place you connected every place because you are in it they always connected with the mind that is the beauty of this your life that is the real yoga of the jiva The, the supreme occupation, dhar, dharma, and for all humanity, is that by which mankind attain the loving transcendental service unto the transcendental Lord. Such a devotional service must be uninterrupted. and and unmet unmotivated to completely satisfy the self ha huh? mangwaiye na so this is the satisfaction ha huh? unconditional permanent satisfaction is coming by giving you satisfied you, you cannot stop yourself with the stopping yourself to not to give <laughs> read again this line read listen when he causes yeah the supreme occupation dharma my clothes uh-huh. for all humanity uh-huh. is that by which mankind can attain to loving devotional service unto the transcendental lord such devotional service must be unmotivated and 
Uninterrupted. Interrupted. No interruption in Ghana. 24 hours a day. 24 7. <laughs> How you can interrupt this? Your connection? He cannot interrupt in material world. How you can interrupt in a spiritual world, Baba? Is the material you interrupt? A spiritual never interruption is coming. Is always connected 24 seven. He say, how I will work? <coughs> His spiritual life. Because I have so many things to do. Are twenty four seven? He will do seven every day in no interruption. Only this connection is not there, so interruption is there. Actually, there is a connection, but we are not aware of this, right? We have a uh, bodily connection. We not know our Jaiva Dharma religion of my soul, then interruption not come. We only practicing in the sadhak deha. We not reach to the siddha deha, no interruption is there. We not reach to the my soul answers. So I interrupt with my doing because this material body is the blockage. This is material. So this is the interruption. This block us to reach to the spiritual. Soul is moving, but interruption is in my body. Soul and super soul, super soul has no problem. His whole body is divine. It can, soul will move direct to his spiritual body, but he has to go through the material body so this is the blockage. So this told us, oh, where are you going to leave me? I have moral duty to do that. You don't do, stop doing to me the blocking. Interrupt us. But when you have a divine connection with him, then it cannot interrupt. When you fix there, then this interruption not effective. You understand? <laughs> nitya dharma, when you fixed in your nitya dharma, always living in that consciousness, then no interruption. That is the real yoga. <laughs> No interruption. Interruption is blocking material thing. And this material, my senses, my body and mind is my block. My knowledge is my covering. It is tough. Is a basic thing. Is a basic thing. So I say, hidden path of devotion has to go from the A B C. Start with this. How to understand crystal clear? It's a hidden. Hidden means is very open, but is a very confidential. Easy but confidence. <laughs> One is philosophy, is very open. Many books is written on that, but it's not confidential. You can read it. But here you have to understand 
than reality, then everything is crystal clear. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Spontaneous love and affection for Krishna, for the transcendental and eternal religion of the soul. You see, again repeat, your mic is not working good. Listen seriously. In spontaneous, spontaneous love, love is spontaneous. Nothing can block this. Love is spontaneous. Try to keep it in your mind. <laughs> Love it. See? Okay. Spontaneous love and affection for Krishna is the transcendental and eternal religion of the soul. Soul. Eternal religion of the soul. Not your body. You have nothing to calculate from the body consciousness. From your soul to super soul. This is eternal. This is a spontaneous. When we start calculating from my senses, my mind, calculative mind, is not in spontaneous. How you can make a spontaneous? From you behave from your soul. It's always. Is spontaneous. You cannot live without this. It, you will feel that I am dying now. This is my duty to do. You say to stop mother to not to care his son. He says better to die. How I don't I, how I can eat without feeding to my son? It's better to die. It's spontaneous. This feeling cannot go out from us. Yes. Meaning the transcendental and eternal religion of the soul. Inter this is the religion. This is the religion. It We have to change our identification from the soul, not from the body, not from my senses, not from my mind, not from my philosophy. Understand? Madhura, you are too much in philosophy. We have to come in the soul. I know you are full of love, but this love is coming from the soul. Ah. That is Jaivata. That is my eternal relation. Love. Go on. The teachings of present day religions are not only Dharma. No Dharma. <laughs> Narayan Maharaj is writing, no? The teaching of the present time is not only Hyderabad. That is Anitya Dharma, Namatik Dharma, not Nitya Dharma. There is three Dharma, I say you. One is Nitya Dharma. This is the religion of my soul, my my sarup. That I am mother, my dharma to care my son. 
I am a lover, my dharma to love. I am a Radha Dasi, I have to serve my Swami. This is my dharma. Other is nitya, anitya dharma, anamatic dharma. Anitya dharma, useless for me. Why I will do go for that? And is diverting me. Why I will divert my dharma? I will live in my dharma. Yeah. That is yoga. Understand? When crystal clear happened here, that makes me yoga. Always union. Twenty so four seven, you are not disconnected. And then you say, how I will get them to do material work? You will do more advanced and fast and intelligently than others because you are always in yoga. You are not alone now. Before you was alone, you can do one. Now you will do and your lover will do with you. Lover will be more active than you and more powerful than you. <coughs> Automatic everything will happen in your life. You, can, you only think and think things will done. This is happening. Before I have to sit and work with them, with the laborers. Now I never see what is happening and all goes better than before and faster than before. Because he is doing now and I am watching how things are going on. That is the beauty. Serious. Like you also, I don't believe. But now I believe when things start happening, they will go. Because you never try like this. If these religious teachings would indicate devotion to Krishna, then there would be Dharma. But most of the adherents of religions such as Christianity, Islam and Buddhism don't accept the transcendental form of the Supreme Lord. They say that no qualities reside in Him. What would be the use of accepting God if He has no mercy or attributes, if He is like zero? We do not wish to accept such fallacious ideas. Without selfish motive, we desire that whatever we do, we do to please Krishna. We are advised to consider what I'm going to do. Will it please Krishna or not? Will it please my Guru Deva? In Bhakti Yoga we consider only if our endeavors please them will we perform those acts. We will strongly rejecting whatever is unfavorable for advancement in bhakti. Mm -hmm. 
ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಅನ್ಯಮತ್ಯ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಥ್ರೀ ಥಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೇವರೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಐ ಸಿ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಮೈ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ I or not can see more than that. I am so blocked in my bodily identity. I see my only body. <coughs> But somebody is come up from this and he is fixed in my his soul I think <coughs> then he is a jayavata somebody is more higher than that he come in his sarup and he fixed with his sarup like a mother is a not a, like a jayavata mother is a sarup is a form he is more elevated than jayavata <laughs> because she become mother in a sarup she got the form you is not a jiva jiva is a marginal jiva cannot be in fix with the motherly or friendly sarup can fix in that that is the thai power but jiva only fix in no marginal no relation <laughs> is the impersonal but when the mother you say is a personal when you say friend is a personal when you say father is a personal when you say conjugal lover is a personal when you say i am a radha dasi then you make yourself personal of radhika then in jiva is grown up in a higher stage of consciousness and he got the form then this jiva before was marginal now it's become a thai established in one relation so what is the highest higher your sarup is higher your identification is higher than marginal like he maharaj thanks cement and the sand identification of cement is also there and identification of sense is also there identification of cement is a mother identification of lover is a cement and any sense is coming with the mixing with the cement become same power <coughs> the in between cement and sand water is there love is there so it will come and the sand and um uh, just one thing i said also that there must be minimum two persons like there must be a relation there yeah. must be an exchange mother and son that thing <coughs> or love and be love friend and friend two friends and one is beloved one is lover two exactly two is necessary and then 
I want to become Radhika Dasi means I want to be a servant of this beloved, to be close with them, to serve all the time to them. So I become the similar to learn from her how she is exchanging love. Because the conjugal love is very private and to learn very many things. Mother can be a independent, but conjugal lover is more when she takes the center of Radhika to learn that. So the conclusion is in the Kevala Advaita from Shankaracharya there is no love because there is no, there is only a oneness. I cannot understand one can how love to him. One cannot love yourself. You cannot love yourself. He also say you love yourself means you love to the soul. But love cannot be in alone yourself. How you can love yourself? This is Sankara philosophy. So it's a, it's a no meaning. But the, this two is a meaning. Without two is no exchange can be. Soul need, need one super soul and soul need one soul. Soul when exchange with love with the soul is a material base. Soul is connected with this super is a divine base. And this divine base can make you all living soul loving like that. Then all the same other soul you can behave similar. Because you will not see physical body, you will see the soul expansion. Super soul expand is many different souls. All are the son of the same father. <coughs> we all brother and sister of the same father. You will see like that. Then, before I am looking from the bodily consciousness, now I start looking from soul, super soul, and super soul expansion in all dimensions. Different reason. And that is a spiritual reason. Understand? This is the Veda Ved Tattva. Huh? There is a difference or no difference? Radhe Radhe Govinda Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda Govinda Radhe When this is crystal clear, then you can move for the Raghav. If this is not clear, then not easy to understand. I will do the Raga Bhakti with the bodily consciousness. Then it becomes which is not easy to understand. So more is one step more clear then more easy to flow there in exchange of love. So easily touch nose like this. When this is clear, you can touch nose like this. This has to be clear. It's difficult to accept but when you will accept, for this we need chanting. 
to accept this point, we need to pray. Nothing else. We need the mantra to pray only to accept this. And when you accept this, every moment is 24-7 is the one point. You will never see to the Sanatani Japa. japa. See, I never see to chanting to her. Maybe for you she is Japa doing, but she no need. Twenty-four, twenty-four, seven she is facing one That do not. We are praying this, when this time will come, that it will become crystal clear in my life. I will also try to be 24-7 in this consciousness. Oh my Lord, when you will help me to do that. Yeah.